I'm trying to enjoy my Saturday morning and I just can never have peace. Pretty convinced. She thinks she's a dog. Ducky follows everywhere my dog go. She's their little body. She has to work really hard with those little legs to run, but she'll follow them. If they're playing, she'll want to go outside, and run around, and then they'll take a nap together and chill for a couple hours but that was an issue. She's a little monster. When it comes to attention, she wouldn't leave you alone. She likes her chin to be scratched. She's definitely a needy little girl. I couldn't leave my house. So that's why from the beginning, she immediately took to my dogs. So I put her on the ground and let her walk up to them. I saw them cuddle and I was like, oh my gosh, they love her. They know that she's a baby. So they took on big brother role of her. her. If Ducky is crying and they'll come and like circle her and lick her face, it will be an adjustment for the dogs and her to not be together in the house. She is about nine weeks old now. She's not a bottle baby anymore. She has been more independent and she will be graduating to the barn in about two weeks. And I know she's gonna cry and I'm gonna feel awful. However, it is much more natural for a goat to live outside. But watching her and her two brothers was awesome. When Frida and Carl go on walks together, the whole world comes to a standstill. At first, people think they're seeing things. But after a second glance, they scream, that's a little lamb. Their friendship seems unreal, but they make it work. Frida, come here. When Frida joined the family, she had never been around farm animals before. So when Carl arrived, Frida was gobsmacked. Carl was rejected by his mom just after he was born. He was very, very weak. He was unable to drink on his own. So I looked at him and said, we're bringing you home, buddy. Come, come, come. 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 We tendered for him 24 seven. And then one day, something amazing happened. Frida and Carl started doing everything together. They love eating grass side by side. Frida loves chewing on Carl's ear. And in return, he gives her bumps. <laughs> they are just glued at the hip. And where one goes, the other one follows. Thanks to Frida, Carl came out of his shell. He chases her around like there's no tomorrow. Yes, they're different, so what? Nothing can bring them apart.